Hi friends, we are back with the next vlog. During our recent visit to Pune, we did not miss going to the Rajiv Gandhi Zoological Park, commonly known as the Rajiv Gandhi Zoo or the Cartridge Zoo. Spread over an area of around 130 acres, the park is divided into three sections, an animal orphanage, a snake park and a zoo featuring animals such as white tigers, leopards, sloth bears and summer deers. It also holds the 42-acre Khatraj Lake within its premises. The park is located in Khatraj, which is 8 kilometers away from the main city of Pune. They charge an entry fee of Rs 40 per person and the visiting hours are from 9.30 am to 5 pm. Also please note that the zoo remains closed on Wednesdays. It was very sad to see people throwing food in plastic bags to the animals inside, despite the signboards on the harmful effects of plastics on animals. Zoo is a plastic free zone. Please do not litter the zoo premises by throwing objects like plastic bags, plates, glasses and bottles. The zoo is home to around 66 species of wildlife including mammals, birds and reptiles from the Western Ghats and the Deccan Plateau region. The Indian star tortoise is one of the beautiful tortoise in Asia which is sadly disappearing from the Indian landscape. These tortoise were given their name due to the unique coloration pattern. Sadly, this unique beauty makes them the target of the illegal pet trade. Flapshell turtles are widely distributed in the Indian subcontinent. They prefer to lie underneath the mud and snap at passing prey. They mostly feed on water plants, frogs, fishes and snails. The snake park has over 20 species of snakes. The marvelous collection includes the Indian rock python, viper snakes and king cobra. Attraction in the snake park is the 13 foot long in cobra. The snake park organizes a myriad of snake festivals and snake awareness programs to clarify doubts that people might have about snakes and to destroy fears about snakes. During Nag Panjami, the park also arranges programs that aim to focus on discouraging the ill treatment of snakes. Iguana is a large lizard and is probably the largest species in the iguana family. And did you know that iguanas can hold their breath for up to 30 minutes? also find monitor lizards, crocodiles and gharials here.
Bhariyas, also known as fish eating crocodiles, are native to India and Nepal. They are one of the largest crocodile species in the world that are known for the long thin snout. You can also see rusty spotted cats and wild cats in this zoo. Since the area is quite large, you need to walk a lot. Please don't forget to carry water bottles. Open space and benches are also available to relax in case you are tired. There is also an option of battery operated vehicles which will take you around the zoo. Facilities like drinking water and washrooms are also available. However, the washrooms were very untidy. A large number of spotted deers, samba deers and black bucks can be seen in the zoo. The elephant enclosure was at the end of the park and was not clearly visible. This zoo also houses wolves, hyenas and meal guys. number of Indian gores also can be seen here. Finally, we got to see the big cats, the tiger which was very photogenic and a couple of leopards. Unfortunately, we could not spot any white tigers. We were also able to spot two cute sloth bears. The sloth bear is a bear species native to the Indian subcontinent. Unlike other bears, they mainly feed on fruits, ants and termites. take at least 3 hours to roam around and see all the animals. However, this place is definitely worth a visit. Try to avoid visiting this place on weekends as it will be very crowded. Also please consider subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, bye!